Alright, hey, what's up guys? Midnight Club Gamer here, and today we're going to be doing some more Gran Turismo 5, as you can see on the screen. And this will be a subscriber request here. Uh, it's going to be a Toyota, I don't know if it's A86 or AE86, but it's the uh, Sprinter Truno. Here's what it looks like. Um, got it up on the, on the PVR now, so you can see it on the screen better. Um, so he wanted to see me drift this, and I'm also not going to only, you're not going to watch me drift it only. You're also going to watch me um, tune it from scratch. So um, this is stock suspension-wise and, like, chassis-wise. I got the, uh, the only upgrades you can do to this would be uh, front, front strut bar, uh, stage 3 engine tune, uh, titanium exhaust, LSD, uh, and, and, a, and a fully adjustable... Um, suspension kit so that's all you can do to it it only makes 299 horsepower uh, which is quite low but uh, we'll see how we manage it's got comfort hards on right now I do believe um, so yeah comfort hards and I'm just gonna exit for a second because I'm not sure if it has them on or not let's see yep comfort hard. okay so it's gonna it's got a fully stock um, set up right now and we're gonna Gonna take you through how to tune it. Basically, you just get it on track and uh, go from there. So, this is the reverse of the autumn ring, and I haven't drifted this car yet, so we'll see how she goes. I also have grit reduction on the track to uh, real. I always put it on real, and um, you can definitely drift. You got to rev it pretty high, as you can see. So, uh, basically, you just take it around the track for a lap and uh, see what happens. And spun out there. Thanks for booing. Right now, I'd like to find a way to make the car break more traction because right now it's uh, kind of grippy because it just it has low power. So you got to do you got to tune it in a way to get the tire rear end to spin a lot faster that's one of the things I got to do uh, right now uh, it has a bit of understeer I spun out there but that was just my error um, it's kind of hard to get it started in the corner like right now most cars I have should they should be able to just start getting the rear end out but Overall, though, for a uh, stock chassis, it's good. That's the thing about Gran Turismo. I mean, like, if you have a, a real rear-wheel drive car or an all-wheel drive car, you can pretty much drift it. There's uh, no real car that you can't drift. I mean, you can you can even drift some front-wheel drive cars, like a fully tuned Honda Civic. You can drift that. Just rip the e-brake like a boss, but it is doable. As you can see. Kind of hard to get the car started in third gear. Let me just shift down a second. It's uh, drifts pretty nice though. I gotta say. Oh, that's my error again. It does that once in a while. But uh, right now, I'd like to get the tire spinning a little bit quicker. So we're gonna exit out here and go to our tuning section. So it's uh. It's bone stock right now, tuning wise. So, what we're going to do first is try to get those rear wheels spinning quicker. And uh, the nice thing about this car is it has an adjustable LSD option. So, there's no, if you can see on screen here on the left, the uh, the front, there's no tuning for that because this is purely a rear wheel drive car. So, there's not going to be any front tuning on the LSD because there's no LSD there. But for the back, the initial torque, you see in the rear, it's at 10. We're going to pump that right off the 60. So uh, basically when you put the pedal down, it's going to it's going to it's going to hit that LSD quick. It's going to put all the torque in as uh, as fast as it can. So um, acceleration sensitivity, uh, let's put that up to about 50. And braking sensitivity, I don't really care. So that's going to get the rear tires spinning quicker hopefully. Now we're going to go to suspension. 
go to the fully adjustable kit. And uh, this car comes factory with a one camber in the front and a .5 in the rear. And that might be right there why it's going a little bit straight. So what I'm gonna do is put the camera back to zero, leave a little, leave one point uh, or 0 0.5 on the rear. And uh, what's that, what that's gonna do is when you have camber, your tires are like this. So um, it's gonna make it run straighter because uh, the inside tread of your tires, you know, it wants to stay straight, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna leave it like that. The rear also has a little bit of a toe angle and I'm gonna bump that back to about 0 0.05. Um, ride height is fat. Holy cow, it doesn't go negative 45, that's crazy. I'm gonna put that negative 45 ride height on that. Just because I like it low, like that blue. Um, spring rate, we're gonna bump it up to, uh, let's say, uh, 16 in the front and 14 in the rear. I like to have it stiff. It uh, makes the tires skip a lot faster. And for the damper, it's gonna put bump that all the way down to about four. Compression down to about three. Don't want a lot of travel in the suspension. Anti-roll bar. I'm gonna bump it all the way up to seven. So that's gonna be the tune I put on it right now. And then you go back out on the track again and uh, see if you fix anything. So. We're gonna try her again and see what happens. I probably screwed it all up. But... Let's see. Well, it's definitely uh, it's definitely got more turn in now. That uh, the zero camber definitely helps. As you can see, it's a lot it's a lot more uh, active to my steering wheel now which is nice. You can get it around the corner. It's getting some real good turn in. And as you can see, it almost can start drifting in third now, which is good. 300 horsepower is definitely enough to drift. With, uh, as you can see, it's really nimble now. As this is a lot better. This is basically how you tune a car. Uh, you just tune it to your liking. You can obviously get tunes off the internet as well. Now uh, you can see I, I couldn't, I wasn't able to do this last time. That's nice there. Oh yeah, it's just fourth gear. Uh, yeah, it's trying, but not much. Still got a little bit under steer. So you can see there. Exponentially better than before, though. So if you don't know how to tune the the Sprinter Truno, I'd say this is pretty good tune. And once in a while, when you see the car has a lot of understeer. Um, you just rip the e-brake and it should get the front end to dive in there but uh, problem with my wheels e-brake circle so if I'm already in the drift and it's starting to understeer I can't really rip the e-brake so that's kind of a problem but I, I suppose I can do a mod to fix that but as you can see it still drifts in the front line is it straight line is pretty good there's a little bit understeer again <laughs> Going off the track a little bit. There you go. See, I got the handbrake on there. It's starting to understeer, but got her back. The only thing you got to watch out for in low horsepower cars is make sure you get the revs up. This car is a high RPM turbo, so got to keep it at least above six grand. Oh, I lost her there. But uh, that is the um, that is pretty much how to tune a vehicle there, and that's the Sprinter Truno, like one of the subscribers asked. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back with some more. If you want to see other cars or other uh, 
other cars to be tuned, uh, just put a comment down below. Talk later in the next one.